Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Birthdays, The Beginning. So, we've got a lot of birthdays, including yours today, if it is your birthday. I like doing that in this game, because it's like every day is a birthday, except when it's actually your birthday, which it might be today. So, happy birthday to you. But we're going to have some fun today. Um, got got a little little bit of a confession to make here. I've actually played this about three times. Uh, played this three hours worth. Uh, the first hour and a half, I was ready to end the video, and power went out. Right? That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, my recording stayed, but I didn't have a save file for the end of it, so I'm going back and we're going to replay it. Uh, the second thing was when I went to back to replay it, Windows pushed oh, right, another power outage, and uh, that one actually fried my air conditioner, so that's not cool. Literally, it's not cool. And uh, we got to get that fixed today, tomorrow, today for you tomorrow for me and uh, the next thing is uh, like the power surge blasted my air conditioner fan so it still blows cold but the the fan won't blow and our house smelled like burnt wire for a while so I did have a power pr surge protector on my computers so that's good but I didn't have a battery backup uh, so that's not so good and then the third time I tried recording it um, well what happened third time I tried recording um, Windows update. <laughs> Some sort of stupid giant Windows update decided it wanted to pop its way in. And it opened in the background, and this game won't minimize. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go cry in a puddle of tears for a while. Anyway, um, I'm, I know what's going to happen. We, we have a really good episode in front of us, and I have a spit on my monitor. That's gross. And what we're going to do, we're going to start it off. And now if we go into the, the main library mode here and into the tree, way over here, you guys said that if I give a thingy to this guy, then we'll get this one. And this is a super rare number... Uh, 281, so check that out. There's only 292 total guys, so this is like way at the end of the tree, but we can get him pretty easy. 13 to 23 degrees Celsius, an animal similar to the Plesiosaurus that emerged in a very wide, flat shallows that adapted to cool climates and was named by humans. That's the cool part. This bad boy is going to get some mutations in here. So let's, uh, let's see. Evolution, evolution jumps a tree, like down... And then mutation goes... No, mutation is down, evolution is sideways. So we're going to hit you with the seed of mutation. And we're going to go back to this mode, and we're just going to slow time down. And it should pop up. There it is. Really quickly, with a brand new and brand new dude. And this, my friends, is Nessie. The Loch Ness Monster. Look, it's a pink one. Oh, it's so cool. It's a pink one. We got the Loch Ness. Actual Nessie. Watch this. Boink, boink. So Nessie is shallows 13 to 23 degrees, but can live up to 38. We're at 45, so Nessie would die. Nessie would straight up die. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to hit Nessie with a rainbow. There's a rainbow coating that we can put on him. And Nessie won't be able to... Uh, the rainbow is sterile, so they'll no longer be able to propagate. But we don't need them because they're in the high-end tree. So that's kind of cool. Um, we just here, we just now have Nessie in here, and oh, what is that? <laughs> a Boxosaurus Rex and a crashed UFO. What? How do I how do I use that? Hey, there they are. <laughs> They're way over here. I hadn't seen those before. So you can put a Boxosaurus Rex and a crashed UFO. That's kind of cool. Some guy named Adamski warned us about this. I wonder if there's other secrets out there. I wonder if this is anything cool. Uh, you know what? Let's get to that in a little bit because I want to. I want to do a bunch of terraforming today, and I'm going to get to that right away. So my objective for today's video is basically I want to connect this mountain with this mountain, kind of like slope it up, and then I want to have a large flat plain on the background and another mountain in this corner connected to there. So I'm going to have two flat plains. We're going to have water running through here, a little bit of water trickling down the mountainsides, and then we're going to open up the deep water here. I want deep water here, and I want a nice shallow bay in, in the beginning, and we'll kind of make like a cove. And then once we add another ring around it to make the map larger, then we're going to have some more cool stuff. Uh, we're going to go deeper and deeper and have like this giant deep area. I hope that's what we're going to do anyway. <laughs> Nessie. We have 252 Nessies in here. That's cool. Uh, so let's get to work. So I got a little bit done. It's gonna drop our temperature down a bit, but I need to get I need to get my time going back up. Ooh, somebody died. <laughs> somebody died out, and somebody came in at the same time. I don't I didn't see what it meant. Ah, oh, just that one went extinct. Interesting. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna do for maybe the next half hour or so. Try to make this big mountain up and keep bouncing in, coming back and forth, because everything's kind of stable now. 
so that's cool. Okay, I did a pretty, pretty big size terraform. This might do some stuff. You can see on the background there, I've got quite a big mountain up. And let's just start time regularly. I'm gonna let it charge all the way up. Oh, nope. I did get a really un uninteresting fish. So <laughs> I just left that one in. I didn't show you guys that. I'm kind of hoping this works. Uh-oh. Celiolanthus is about ready to die. Okay, time for another terraform. Okay, I've done a pretty nice sized terraform here. I got uh, kind of a nice shallow area there. I've got my, my plesiosaurs down in there. And then we've got this beautiful thing starting off. Uh, kind of a nice downward shelf to a big sea, and then a deep sea down here too. So we might be able to, it's still 31 degrees in here, so I'm thinking we might need to drop it down lower. But I don't have any more stuff, so I'm just going to let it ride for a little bit. Uh, let's just start time, see what happens, anything cool is going to pop up, maybe. Uh, not really changing, yeah, that guy could die. Um, we're changing up the water environments quite a bit, so uh, we're going to lose the Celioacanthus. Great. I hope that's not necessary for any other tree. And, ooh. Yeah, well, uh, they might stabilize, depending on depending on a few factors. Okay, so I, I totally messed up the whole water behavior. So that's totally expected. All right, that's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. So I wanted to go back. Ooh, we're starting to get some trees up on the top. Uh, we're going to mess up now the top side. Check that out. We have a conifer tree up here. It's kind of cold. It's kind of chilly up here in the uplands and the highlands. Okay, so I've connected it up. Check this out. I connected the big mountain here. That's not exactly like I'm gonna like I want it to finalize. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buff it up a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong way. See if I can get some cool little waterfalls going in. Uh, that's mainly the reason why we don't have any uh, any life up here is because there's no water. It's all dry. So let's pop that river source up here. I'm gonna bring it up one. And actually, let's do a little bit of this. Oh, that's not the right button. Okay, that's gonna have to do it. So let's pop this thing in. Ooh, very good. And I don't have any, any health, so I'm just gonna hit one of these guys. And now the Mountain Peak River Flow. So I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm gonna be as artistic as my little artistic brain is gonna allow me to be, which is not much. Tell you what, I think this looks pretty cool. Got a nice little river coming through all the way into here. And then it kind of spills down in there into the, the Valley of Life. I also made a, a line straight across just to see what would happen. We have our giant mountain over there that will eventually connect to that one. And we'll have those two flow down in the middle here into the main valley. Which goes down into a nice giant uh, um, deep, deep ocean down there. So, I don't know. I, I think this is... Uh, we did drop it two more degrees too. So, we could have some, some life pop up. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. It's like our snake's gonna die? Yeah, we've lost lost a little bit of health. A little bit of stuff. Ooh! Lepatoidus! And something died out on top of a mountain. Oh, there's a snake that died. Okay, we got full. Let's see. So whatever that thing was is already dead. <laughs> that didn't last long. Oh, it's way down there too. Yeah, this isn't this isn't growing green at all. Which kind of surprises me. I don't know why. Uh we have some regular plants here? What what's going on with this land? Moisture's a hundred percent. I wonder if it has to propagate up or if I just haven't given enough time. Is it is it coming up here at all? Is the it, oh there's some trees. Yeah, it's starting to climb this way. So I'm guessing it has to start from there. Let's let's watch and see what happens with that. More things are dying. Yeah, we're getting some trees and jump going on up there. Wow. Oh my. I may I may have broken my entire system. Uh oh, it's going up though. <laughs> Everything's on the verge of extinction. All my plants. All my, all my, uh, water, water fishies. Wow. Oh, that must be in the range of this thing. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, <laughs> we have a little bit of warmth left in the water. And this is now 32, which is fine. That's not, that's still hot. Um, so we might actually have to lose some of this stuff. The Gigabrachio is ready to die. Why? Let's, uh, let's not let him die. If he's still in the water, I want to hit him with a thingy. Hey, yeah, he's still over here. I'm gonna hit him with the um, rainbow deal. All right, here you go. Have a rainbow. You're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to die. I mean, there's only 60 of you left in the world. Oh, Nessie died. Wow. I hit Nessie with a rainbow and they still died. I was not really expecting all of this death today. Yikes. Hey, there we go. A mosasaurus. Wait, that's a new type of dinosaur. Oh, it's a new water dinosaur. Weird. Oh, look at him down here. That's gotta be him right here. 
Oh wow, we've got a lot of deep water stuff. Is this him? It is. Hello, Mosasaurus. Nice. A marine reptile emerged from the sea. His jaw can easily break through shell. Awesome. So we've lost a lot of life, but we've gained some too. I wanted to go see down here. Is there anything swimming around in the deep water? A little bit. Looks like our plesiosauruses are still up there. Cool. Man, everything's everything's on the verge of extinction. I kind of want to warm it up a little bit more, maybe. Uh, that'd be more water. I do like this. We, we're finally getting the green up here. So that should help out with a few things. Let's actually look what our next goals are here in the tree. Uh, so the T-Rex is next. I believe that's this one, yes. 41 to 51 degrees on land, huh? Well, we're much colder than that. Adapta adaptation temperature at 29 degrees. Hmm. So let's hit you with, what is it? Uh, let's hit the, the Velociraptor with um, the mutation one. And actually, since Nessie's dead, let's put down a heat stone over here at 41 to 51 so I can do a 10, a 10 uh, heat stone right in here. That should help out. So there's the warm stone, 10 degrees. We bring it up to 41. Yeah, let's use that. Okay. That, that'll bring it up a little bit warmer. And I want to put that mutation seed on this Velociraptor. If I can target him. There we go. Okay, seed of mutation, activate. Okay. Let's watch everything die now. Sad as that is. We might get the... Oh! We got a new raptor. Is it him? It is him. I'm guessing this raptor is gonna die off. 32 degrees over here in the desert. Uh, yeah, he's gonna die. <laughs> I need to I need to bring up temperature just like one degree right now. Okay, I brought up the average. Oh, we got the Tyrannosaurus, tri the Tyrannosaurus Rex in here. I didn't even see that. It's I, I didn't see him over here though. We got the little pink. Yes, there he is. Oh, dirty McGurdy. There we got the T Rex. Oh, cool. So it did work. Um, I wonder if that was the natural or if that was the one from uh, the other thing, uh, the stone. Cause he might have come in size, super sized, large dinosaur that packs other attacks other dinosaurs with his powerful jaws. Too bad they don't actually eat anything. Ooh, that was a six star rarity. So we got the Rex, and we got. Uh, I guess we could try to get these. What do these take? Uh, forty three. Yikes! I actually that would work again. What do you take? Upland, upland Triceratops. All right. I kind of want. I kind of want the world just to stabilize. Let's uh, let's go back into the super mode. And we're gonna let it run for a little bit. I just want everything to stabilize. We're gonna lose some of the old things. Elrathia, yeah, that's an old. Um, we're losing some of the old animals and plants from like way back in the early ages. And we are getting other things. Oh, okay, we got a couple other dinosaurs here, I think. Okay, there are two over here. Yep, in the in the heat stone. Oh yes, it's the new. Is this is this new? I don't think he's new. I do think you're new, though. Yes, you are. Let's scan you up into our life. Nice lowland dinosaur. Cool. What is it? This is the Dinoceratops. Okay. Uh, begin to prey on small animals. Really? I didn't realize that. Cool. That might be something they just totally made up. Oh, and the Archaeopteryx. Is that what it's called? The first bird of prey? Actual feathered one? Yep. Uh, Archaeop Archaeopteryx. Sure. I'll take that. And we're going to lose some more dinos. Ugh. I wonder why. Uh, I'm, oh, these guys are they're cool down here. I'm wondering if these guys are going to go extinct. I kind of think they are. Uh, but there's a lot of fish starting to swim around in this deep water. We got a lot of uh, a lot of neat things. We have some stuff way down here in the deep trench, too. Okay. Who's going to die on me? Oh! We got another T-Rex, I think. We're going to sneak up underneath of him and see what it is. Big boo! Oh, we're in him. <laughs> Get out of here. What do we got? Oh, it's another Rex. Oh, wow. He looks awesome. Doesn't he? Looks like he's got a big throat. Okay, what are you? Where are you? Oh, you're up here. Okay, scan you up. So he's up the upland? Differentiation adapted to low temperatures will not allow a small prey to escape it. Huh. So it's any land 15 to 25. Oh, we're 20. We're 22 up here. That's cool. I mean, really it is. <laughs> nice. Actually, that's like 70 degrees or something. Oh, we're getting uh, plants coming up on top of this thing, finally. I think we need to like, spread this over a bit more, because there are some plants. Ooh, we're getting some trees up here. I kind of want to hit this area with a cold stone to see what happens. 
And we got some cold stuff up here. Five degrees. Yeah, it's plenty cold already. Plenty cold. I'm gonna let it run a little longer. Probably gonna lose some more stuff. Plesiosaurus, ready to go. Figured. Got the first bird in. Uh-oh. There it goes. Oh, the raptor died. Well, I figured that one was gonna go. That was the desert one. Hey, we got a new tree. And something else. We both went ex Oh, it's in the water. I thought they went extinct already. Is it that thing? Oh, that's cool looking. It just ate a little fishy. Awesome. Okay, Celiolanthus. Alright. That's what I was hoping for. Ooh, leveled up. I was not expecting a new level. Kind of sad that a Plesiosaurus is going to go extinct. No more Loch Ness Monster. Kind of happens, though. Hey, that was a new dino. That looked like a water one. Whatever it is, it's way over in the desert. Oh, it's a different variation of the Stego. Look at him way over there. Hiding in the grass. Oh, the T-Rexes love this little plane out here. Not going to mess with that at all. Look at the Stego. Wow, it's really cool looking. And you are a stego that lives in hot drylands. Makes sense? Like, there is no moisture in here. What do you even have to eat? I guess these trees. <laughs> it makes sense. Whatever, I'll take it. I do like these T-Rexes though. Uh, I did notice that there's like a super awesome T-Rex somewhere in this list. I wanted to see if we can get it. Oh, that one's not new. Oh, we got the birds of prey too. Okay, we got we got that guy we can get. Hot dry uplands. I might be able to get that guy in, and that's not the one. So it's that guy. Differentiated dinosaur that appeared when the shark Gargadon Rex was ravaging the ocean. Among humans, its name means terrible lizard king. So I don't know. Like, I have not seen that guy, and I went through the entire tree. I don't know where he would be in the tree, but he's kind of rare that we have the people up here, too. Um, I did want to kind of end it today, and we'll close out of this. Since we do get the Rexes, and that was kind of the goal, uh, the Rexes and Nessie, but Nessie already disappeared. I wanted to put that UFO up here in the mountain, because I thought that'd be kind of cool to spawn, spawn in a UFO uh, somewhere up here. Oh, this could be a nice little area right here. Let's try that. So if you are wondering about this thing, uh, this is just a, a flavor thing for DLC. And actually, I kind of want to put them down with the T-Rexes. That's kind of cooler to me for some reason. We can put the Cardboardosaurus down there too. And some just kind of quit. That was that was goofy. I kind of like that. Nah. Should we put the Cardboardosaurus down? Oh, no. Well, I didn't want to actually place it. Uh, that's not good. Well, I guess it placed it anyway. Sure. <laughs> Cardboardosaurus Rex. Uh, if you guys want to let me know where to place down the... Um, uh, the crashed UFO, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the episode, please do let me know, as always. And let's get a nice, beautiful screenshot right there of the Cardboardosaurus Rex with the T-Rexes in the background. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We will catch you next time.